Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel or thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. I've mentioned before that although I like all kinds of brands of handbags, nothing makes me happier than getting a Dooney and Burke. And I decided to make a quick video. I don't have a lot of time, but a bag was delivered a while ago and I opened it, so I thought I would share it with you. It's my Dooney and Burke zip sack in Florentine leather in the color natural. I'm on a smaller bag trend. This one would have been very small <laughs> for me a few years ago, but compared to this itty bitty <laughs> bag. It's a good size now. <laughs> that Clementine zip satchel, small zip satchel, is almost too small for me. It fits just the bare essentials, but we're here to talk about this zip sack in Florentine leather. Here's the back, no pocket on the back does have a zip pocket on the front. Here's my phone case. It doesn't fit vertically and it won't fit in any other way. The information about the bag is on the plastic bag that it came in. It also came in a box, obviously. But let me measure it. This bag is 10 inches high. It's 8 inches across at the base, but it's much wider at the top. It's 12 inches. And I forgot. It's 5 inches deep and it has feet on the bottom. It has a strap that is not detachable. Do better, Jimmy. Do better. Make your straps detachable. So it looks like this strap is the three part kind so that you could make it a crossbody or a shoulder bag by removing the center part. A lot of Dooney bags are like that. I'll have to look online and annotate the strap drop. My bag had some brown tissue paper covering the leather patch and it caused a little bit of discoloration around the patch. I'm not too worried about it. I think over time this bag will patina and get scratches and things like that, but I won't notice that anymore. So it came with a dust bag. It has a key keeper inside, a slip pocket and a zip pocket on the back wall, and one large slip pocket on the front wall. My phone case for my iPhone 13 fits in that back or that front slip pocket easily and it also fits in that back slip pocket and that's what that zip pocket looks like with my phone standing up 
And my phone also fits laying on its side in that back pocket. I'll come back later with a what's in my bag. As I'll probably be using this bag soon, but I just wanted to do a quick reveal. You know, here's the red interior, if I didn't show that. So that's a quick look at my Dooney and Burke zip sack in the color natural in Florentine leather. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.